Okay, so here we are, and I think what I'm going to do is pretty much do a formation which is very similar to what we normally do. So first of all, guys, just um, get back here so I can actually see what's going on. So we're going to have a front line of... Now, the, the most vulnerable units are often the ones on the flanks, so I normally like to have the armoured hoplites on the flanks because they're, they're better. So we'll have you guys at the front, in fact we'll have all of you at the front, and then one, two, three, four, and we'll have, okay, so all of you, you are going to be the front line, so let's just, I wish you could zoom back a little bit more, but you can't unfortunately. Let's just have a nice, compact front line like this, in fact, let's just have it more like that, beautiful. And again, if anyone charges into that, quite thick lines of phalanx that's going to be quite difficult to actually penetrate through so that's nice then we have over here armored hoplites and they're going to be on the flank like i explained just to sort of blunt cavalry charges make sure nobody sneaks around because people do like to sneak around try and get to the archers and stuff like that it's pretty annoying when that happens and then we'll have you guys along the side here as well now we'll have the archers i really don't want the archers to be hit so We'll just have to be careful, I suppose. Archers in a nice sort of long line like this. In fact, just have you kind of like that. Beautiful. And then we have the general right at the very back. This is a pretty solid army. Telus of Attica has got a good, good army indeed. Oh. I forgot someone. Okay. Okay, crisis averted. Let's group you guys all up. And we'll start the battle. Now, Carthaginians, they're over there. They have a very, very, very wide battle line. Which is fine. But what we'll start doing is we'll start marching forward because they're probably going to be on the defensive. They're probably not going to want to march towards us. They might. In fact, looking at it, they might really want to march forward. I mean, you know what? We'll just sort of sit here for a moment. If they want to march into our hoplites and we can play it defensive, like how I like it, then perfectly fine. They can't withdraw because they've run out of movement points. So if they're willing to play it stupid, then that's fine by me. I mean, there's already a few units around there. But I don't think want my archers wasting their arrows on them. Plus, they shouldn't be on skirmish mode. They are pretty close. Could my archers reach maybe their front line? They could, you know. Screw it. Let's get them on fire at will. So we're going to start firing into their front line. And they should start charging forward in retaliation. Because they don't particularly like being hit with arrows. Can't blame them. But you know what? If you didn't like it, you shouldn't have defeated us at Lily Byam in, like, what, the second episode? So, yeah. I'm still salty about that. A few of the men are actually hitting each other, I think. I saw a bit of friendly fire there. Be a little bit careful. I'll, I'll look at that in a second. Yeah, a few other... Those hot plates are being hit by the... What, that? Skirmishers? I mean, potentially, my general could just charge into the skirmishers, you know? Screw it. Let's get my general charging into the skirmishers. If their cavalry wants to come and play, then we can bait them, potentially, into the phalanx. But, I mean, skirmishers... They're already shaken. Against Telis of Attica, he's not going to do well. We won't go into the Iberian infantry, but that unit breaks immediately. Fortunately, we couldn't get the other unit, but that's fine. We've already negated a little bit of the problem, so you just get back behind the line, please. Right, so there's more firing, but nobody particularly wants to charge forward. We've killed 13% of them, so I'm perfectly fine just sitting back here. And if they want to just literally stand there and take hits, then they're more than welcome to. It's so important we had archers, and they're doing a really good job so far, so I'm pretty happy with that. Right, who's decided to come forward? We've got some Balearic Slingers. Okay, okay, Balearic Slingers. Go like that. You guys, stop firing for a second. Don't need to hit the general accidentally, so you can stop firing. General, just charge forward. Hit those Balearic Slingers, and who else we got? More skirmishers. Well, again, any, you know, any kind of skirmishers or slingers, the general can just deal with that. That's perfectly fine. So general's going to charge into the Balearic Slingers... They're hopefully going to go down quickly. Don't charge into the Iberian infantry. They're wavering. Good. We have a couple of men actually chasing the generals. So let's just get back. Who's chasing them? Yeah, Libyan spearmen. Exactly. Pretty decent unit. And their spearmen, of course, don't particularly want them, you know, attacking the general. That's not ideal. So then what we'll do, pause it again quickly. Just get all of you guys firing at will again. And you should now be firing into those Libyan spearmen. And hopefully baiting them into the hot plights. Doesn't look like it, but it's fine. We can move forward in a second if that's a problem. Right, more skirmishes coming forward. So literally what I'm doing is, if skirmishes come forward, I'm getting my general to chase them off. Get the archers off fire at will, just because A, I don't want them hitting the general. And B, they're just wasting their arrows if they're fighting or hitting skirmishes. It's just a, it's just a waste. So if we could just... No, they're pretty fast. That's the problem. They're pretty fast, skirmishers. And bear in mind, there's light cavalry over there. Do need to be a little bit careful. Now, Iberian infantry... Yeah, okay, they are gonna they're gonna cause trouble. So let's just back off. Back off behind the hoplites. Don't engage in their infantry, please. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. Archers, you can carry on now. 
And look at this, this unit of Libyan spearmen, some of them have come forward, some of them have stayed back there, so already the Carthaginian army a little bit disorderly, which is good to see. Right, so the archers have run out of arrows, and unfortunately, we haven't managed to bait the whole army forward, so we are, we're going to have to go forward, because we're going to be at a stalemate otherwise. It's a bit annoying, I don't particularly like manoeuvring the army, particularly in hot plights, moving forward, but we haven't got a lot of choice, so we'll just move forward, in phalanx obviously, and hopefully they will charge at some point if we get close to them. If not, we'll just keep going forward until we engage, it's fine. Okay, they seem pretty disinterested, so let's just keep moving forward. If we move right next to them, then they haven't got much choice but to attack. Okay, skirmish is backing off, which is understandable. Let's just... I mean, we're, okay, literally, wait, stop, that's not a good position. Let's just literally right in front of them. I mean, this this unit of, what is that? Iberian infantry, just one. But I love how he's trying to hold the line. Literally, his dead comrades are right next to him, but... Sure. <laughs> Very weird tactics from the Carthaginians. Right, we are right next to them now. So they pretty much have no choice but to charge. Unfortunately, not all of our spears are down and we're not actually in a proper good formation. So guys, if you could just... Yeah, good. Do that. So let's just pause for a second. It's been a bit manic. We've got two units routing over here. In fact, they've, they, the whole front line is routed. Okay. That's actually been all right. In which case... Great. That's awesome. So they're coming forward. Basically, what we need is you. I don't know why, but you aren't in a proper position. So you go like that. But apart from that, the elephants look like they're going to be charging... The whole army is pretty much collapsing. It's only this odd units of mercenary cavalry or light cavalry that's causing trouble now. So these guys are all fleeing. We will chase after them at some point. In fact, screw it. Let's just go a bit forward. So you attack you. You know, go onto the cavalry. In fact, just go onto the units of cavalry. Focus on them. You guys, we need to get like... If we get like three, four, five units, just all focusing on the elephants, that should be okay. We'll get you three starting to chase the Balearic Slingers. And we'll just see how that kind of goes. I'm hoping everything doesn't go to hell here because I've kind of broken up the line. But I feel like we have a little choice, to be honest. Now, cavalry's starting to come over here. Let's just get my general around the side here. If they want to engage, we are more than welcome to fight rubbish like cavalry in the melee. Yep, they're broken. They're broken, broken, broken. Yeah, the whole army's pretty much collapsing, so good to see. Let's just get all of these guys down now. Let's just pause it, see what's going on the other side. It's been a bit manic. Elephants are indeed routing, so that's good to see. You guys focus on that unit. You two, sorry, you two focus on that unit. You guys focus, not you. You guys focus on that unit. What else have we got? We've got you. You can focus on them. In fact, one-on-one -on -one with Libyan Spearmen, probably don't want to do that. Just both of you go on to them. General, keep going around the side. So good stuff to see. As long as we get these cavalry down, we should be okay. In fact, my general, I want, him, what I want him to do is start chasing down the routing units. Don't particularly want to see them again. Somebody's dead. Looks like they're captain. We'll have a look in a second. It is Captain Timasion, and they're pretty much the whole army's collapsed, which is good to see. I mean, this is a big army. It's about a 1,000 men. It wasn't very high-quality army. Absolutely, all right. But still, you know, pretty commendable. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, saying that, what happened over here? Round shield, okay, they must have just got surrounded by cavalry. They must have. Okay, well, guys, attack them, and you guys attack them. Make sure you get that unit down, because they're causing a little bit of trouble. Don't know really what happened over here. That shouldn't have really happened, especially as they should have the lower morale than us, because basically the whole army's collapsing. But okay, it's all right. We can spare one unit. We've got plenty of capacity to retrain and stuff. Right, what's going on over here? We've got round shield cavalry against my general. Well... <laughs> There's no way the round your cavalry are going to win, right? Yeah, broken. Just going to get my general out of here, though. There's a good charge incoming from them. So let's run. Let's please run. Thank you. And just start chasing down the town militia. Do something useful, please. So we've got a lot of phalanx just chasing these stupid cavalry. They've got to charge at some point because the battle's never going to end otherwise. You try and get onto that unit. Um, this is, It's a tiny bit manic now because we decided just to go on the offensive. So, you know... But I just want to get as many of these guys down, but don't want to see them ever again. And I want to kick them completely off the island. Okay, what, what is exactly going on? We've got the archers. In fact, let's get the archers on skirmish mode, just in case anyone does decide to attack. What else we got? Right, you two. Just get that unit of Numidian mercenaries down. They're annoying. And what else? I mean, there's still units around because the game hasn't said victory to the new uh, Numidians, the Carthaginians yet. So... There definitely is still stuff going on. We've got round shield cavalry over there. Archers, you can get out of there. Don't particularly want to fight you. There's still the odd unit around, but honestly, nothing too. Man, 
menacing. We can just chop as many of these guys down with the general. Don't mind if cavalry gets away specifically because we've got lots of hoplites. So our specialty is against cavalry. I mostly want to get the stronger units like Libyan spearmen down. That would be good to see. Okay, unit of archers did go down over there. I, I think I know which unit that was as well. You know what? I can deal with using uh, losing the odd unit. It's not ideal, but it's fine. The majority of the army is collapsing, but they're still hanging around. I mean, what's going on over here? Okay, so we did manage to get the Numidian mercenaries down. You two, focus on that man. Okay, get your spears in the right direction. Just point them down. But I think once we've dealt with them, pretty much the whole army is gone. So Telly Sabatsky is not doing a very good job chasing these guys down. He's taken absolutely ages to kill each unit. I think pretty much everyone is dead now. Mm, I, mm, like, it must be one unit that's left. Like, why are you not getting that guy down? Because there's a lot of people getting away. Because you're messing around getting that one Libyan spearman down. Right, just bother. Just get all these Balearic slingers down. Screw it. That one Libyan spearman can get away. Victory. Good to see. Okay, let's pause for a second. I'm basically going to just get them out of Phalanx and just chasing as many units as... Well, they're never going to chase them. Chase down as many units as possible. Um, but honestly, yeah, this is pretty much a formality now, which is good to see. I think if we kill 90% of the army, then they completely disintegrate. Now, I think too many of them have already got away for that to be so. Sadly. Because the general... Really, it's the general that's been incompetent. The general has not managed to get that many of them down. He's done an alright job, but not amazing. And there we go. Clear victory. 952 kills to 239. So, pretty good stuff there from Telly Savatica. I'm not sure if we quite managed to kill all of them. No, I mean, it's still about 18% remaining. But to be honest, bare bones of an army. They are literally going to do nothing. And of course, they've got no capacity to retrain them in Sicily. So we can basically just take them down whenever we want. Because we have all the training and recruitment capacity. They don't anymore. Their nearest training centre is Carolis, and then the nearest one after that is Cordoba. So, really, they haven't got a lot of capacity to um, do anything. In fact, where have they gone? Have they gone onto that boat, maybe? Looks like it. Well, to be honest, if I never see them again, that's absolutely fine. Now, probably, Tellius, you just need to get into Masana, retrain, and then probably going to move on towards the Brutii or the Scipii or something. But just get inside Masana for the moment, and we'll sort you out soon. So... Okay, there's a little bit of stuff that needs to go on. I'll do a little bit of the administration, basically just merging units and just getting people out so we can just see what's going on. Okay, so Masana is full. Let's just retrain. Okay, we can't actually retrain the armoured hoplite, sadly, but to be honest, apart from this one unit, we're pretty much at full strength, so we should be fine. So retrain all those guys. Get, I mean, to be honest, we probably just need a boat more importantly than anything. Now, this is a strong army. It's not, I would like a unit of archers, but... You, know, you can't get everything in life. Let's just get a boat, because to be honest, I think this army is pretty strong. So, first battle dealt with. Let's do the second battle against the Carthaginians. I've forgotten who these mercenaries are. I mean, we could possibly do with some Peltas, but to be honest, it's not a priority. It's not a priority. So anyway, let's just... Ah, this is a general, actually. There's a, there's a Carthaginian general. Now, really, really strong in our favour. Yes, I remember this now. I took a break. This episode was split into two for me because I took a break in the middle. So, yeah. Theopropides, <laughs> Saunites, I don't know, versus these two. Don't really want Anaxandrus of Knossos getting involved. So I will control him. Actually, I don't know if I can control him because we've got too many units under the control of Gurjos of Segesta. Do we? No. I think we can just about actually uh, control Anaxandrus of Knossos. So we'll just let them into the battlefield and they can sit in the corner doing nothing. Gurjos of Segesta, or Segesta, sorry, is going to do the heavy lifting. So should be a pretty similar battle to the other one. And it should be a lot easier, actually. Six to one in our favour. Let's go. Here we are, so you can see the settlement in the distance, the settlement which we own, actually, incidentally, uh, of Syracuse. And we've had to defend about 50 times this campaign. So in terms of the formation, it's going to be very similar to the last battle, apart from, unfortunately, we don't have archers. So we can't really soften them up with the archers, because that just isn't a thing. But to be honest, this is, should be a lot simpler. The only thing I really want to do in this battle, obviously other than win it, is kill the general. Now the good news is they are backed up to the sea, so they can't really do a lot of skirmishing or anything like that. So we'll do a pretty similar thing to last time. Just get the men like this, have units on the flank just in case they get any funny ideas, and they probably will knowing the Carthaginians, and then get two guys on the other side like this, and then we'll get the two generals, 
Gurge also suggests that and this helmeted dude like that and then we'll put them in a nice old formation and we'll start the battle okay so they're over there let's just quickly move towards them I don't particularly want them messing around to be honest right what have we got here I didn't really check before the battle it looks pretty similar Iberian infantry front line a couple of light cavalry at the, the sides and then a general at the back so what we'll do literally just walk straight up to them like we did literally just last battle like so now, I think they've got one unit of skirmishers. Could do a bit of damage. Honestly, don't think they'll be that threatening. So let's just... No, no, not like that. Let's just move literally right up next to them. And then we might just attack. Because it, we might take less losses that way. To be honest. Skirmishers are moving back. Are they going to engage? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll pause for a second. So, what we are going to do is... You, to you. Like this. Oh, no, like that. Like that. Bang. Bang. Oops, and bang, like that. Now, I'm going to leave the lads on the flank just because I feel, feel like the cavalry is going to try and flank us, like the cavalry does. So that, oh, you can, oh, that's great. You can see the ship's really close because we have a big, big navy by the port. Although, that ship does look like it's actually on the land, which is a bit concerning because I'm pretty sure ships are meant to be in the sea. But, okay, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so we've engaged with them. Doesn't look like the cavalry is actually going to react. You actually go into those Iberian infantry. How are we doing? We've got steady, shaken, shaken. More cavalry's charging in, wavering. And we've got eager, 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 eager. Yeah, armored hot plates, beautiful. So we are trying to churn down their front line. Might just charge into or spearmen, but they've got the spears the wrong way. If we charge into the back of these spearmen, we could route them. That unit breaks. That unit breaks. Break, break, break. The whole line broke. Okay, beautiful. Now, we just need to focus on the general. Really. I think it, now it is just focusing on the general. So, actually, because all these guys are down, let's get... That's a bit of a weird phalanx, but whatever. Particularly the front line, lads. Like this. So, basically, yeah, all of you apart from the general into their general. Then you... I mean, just try and mop up as many of them as possible. I think you guys can start coming around the side now. You're not going to get flanked. They're going to get flanked, if anything, to be honest. And then again, you sort of come around this side. And we can start surrounding the cavalry. Particularly their general, which is the priority. Getting him down. And this should be pretty simple. Okay, admittedly, cavalry did charge into this phalanx. But, oh, they broke. Okay. Is that the general? No, it's not the general. Just all get on the general. In fact, if we could surround the general, even better. So, what have we got here? You, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're doing well. General charges into the phalanx. Get around the side of the general. Get around the side of the general. In fact, let's get... I'm saying general too much, but it's important. Let's get one of my commanders around here. See, I mixed up and said commander that time before. There we go. We killed him anyway. We didn't need to surround him. Good, 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 good. Let's just pause it. What's his name? Oh, yeah, the name I can't really say very easily. Okay, so what have we got left? We've got skirmishers, skirmishers. So, basically, they've got nothing because this dude can literally charge down one unit of skirmishers. You can charge down the other. I want all my hoplites out of phalanx so you can chase down as many units as possible. So, all of you chase down the rest of you. The general's bodyguard can't regenerate because, well, the general dies. So they haven't got anyone to protect. So, instead... Oh, is there another general? Oh, there's two generals. That I didn't realise. Oh no, it's my general. Idiot. Absolute idiot. I, nearly, <laughs> I, I was trying to order my own phalanx to kill my own general. Not a good idea, okay? On a scale of bad idea to bad idea, that's a very bad idea. So, that. Okay, beautiful. So everyone's going to be out of phalanx, hopefully, and running. All of you, out of phalanx, run. Generals are chasing down. In fact, good news, we have a general over here, so he can intercept. So Anaxandrus of Knossos over there can intercept, so actually he was a little bit useful. So he can intercept some of the rousing units. We've got our generals chasing the skirmishers, and they break instantly. Beautiful. So basically it's just me chasing May after them. I won't show it because you literally just saw it in the previous battle. And there we go, clear victory, 664 to 29. Ten men remaining, not including the general, so this army will disintegrate. So... No more Carthaginians in Sicily. Finally. Only took me, what, 20 parts to, <laughs> to get rid of them? But now we have got rid of them, we can really expand into the Italian mainland. Because now, we've got a highly defensible region. It's unlikely people are going to attack, particularly if we go on the offensive against the Brutii, and probably more importantly, the Scipii. So, retinue expands. 
You get a runner, okay, so plus one command. Gurjos of Segesta, let's have a quick look at you. You look pretty solid, but you're 32. You're a little bit older than I'd like, but it's it's cool. It's cool. And then we have you again, Shield Bearer. That's a good one as well, so nice to see. Now, do these guys need to really train up? I mean, this is a pretty solid army. I, the only thing I would like in this army that would make it perfect is archers. But... You know what? That's fine. So where are we going to move these guys? That's the question. Where are we going to move them? Because we do need more support in Croton. Now, Doris of Sparta could really do with those armoured hoplites because he got a little bit battered last time. So what we could do, really, is ship over some of the armoured hoplites. So Gurgis of Segesta can probably start joining. Bear in mind we've got this big navy here. Can probably start joining Doros of Sparta. So we'll get the navy over here. Gurjos of Segesta. I don't think we need both generals. Do we need... Actually, we've only got one general in, Sis in Italy, haven't we? It's Doros. So, yeah, we could probably do with two generals, two more generals in Italy. So, all of you guys come aboard. I, I'm i going to take a risk and merge them. I might lose a bit of experience, but honestly, I'm not too bothered if I lose one bar of experience. I'd rather just have a full unit of armoured hoplites. So, guys, get on the boat. You won't be able to make it over this turn, but it means within two... Well... The next turn, basically, you can join Doros, and then combined, you can go and take Croton. So that's pretty good, right? So that's what's going to happen over there. Syracuse, we've got Alexandras of Knossos just to keep it happy. Are you a good manager? You're actually you, you're a decent manager. Not very... Ah, plus one to... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you've not got a lot of influence, but okay. Just get yourself some armored hoplites, and you know what? You know what? Get yourself an academy. I want you to be good, Alexandros. Get yourself an academy. So we sort out Masana. I think the last thing we're going to do this episode, we do have a couple more battles. We have the battle for Sardis, which we're going to do next episode. Uh, and then we have the battle, yeah, over here against the Slayers, who have been backed up as far as they can go, I think. Yeah. So I think we should do this one now. And then next episode, we will take Sardis. We'll move over towards Tarsus, so we'll finally unify Turkey. We're going to move towards Croton, so we could potentially take three settlements next episode. And then, honestly, don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the army, like the army of Masana. Maybe looking towards the Numidians in Africa, because they're going to be quite... They're, they're quite spread out. I mean, I doubt settlements like Lepkis Magna are that well defended. So we could really start making a big empire here. My ultimate plan, by the way, is... By the time we get to Egypt, bear in mind we have to clear out the Seleucids first, we hopefully would have maybe even gone as far as here, so we can do a pincer attack on two sides, surround them, so we can attack them from the north and attack them from the south, and then that's the best way to deal with the Egyptians, is a surprise attack from both sides. So we'll worry about that when it comes. So I think we're going to end this episode by this quick battle outside of Tarsus. It's actually pretty similar to the two we've just done. It's against the Seleucids this time. It's an offensive battle. Unfortunately, no armoured hoplites we've got, but they've only got militia hoplites mostly. One unit of Levy pikemen could cause a bit of trouble, but we've got Cretans we can focus on them. So, should be okay. Let's see how we do. Okay, here we are. And you know what? I'm going to do something pretty similar to what we've done in the previous two battles. But the good news is, we can actually be a bit more offensive and we have a bit more missile attack because, first of all, Cretans are good. But also, we have Scythian... Mercenaries, it's nice to be using Scythians again, isn't it? If you saw my last campaign, yeah, I, I lived and died by the Scythian horse archers. They're beautiful, beautiful things. So, anyway, front line of hoplites like this, good thick line just in case. And then we'll have lads on the flank as per usual, like that. And then again, two flank, two flank, two hoplites on the other flank. So that's cool. Good start over here. Now, we're going to have the General and the Sarmatians. So you two, just at the back here, like last time. And then we're going to have the Cretan Archers over here. And they're going to be off skirmish mode, on defensive mode for the moment. And then we're going to have the Scythian Mercenaries. Now, Scythian Mercenaries, just come around the side. I probably want you to either focus on the Elephants or more likely the Levy Pikemen. But we'll kind of worry about that when it happens. In fact, we have three Scythian Mercenaries. Oh, this is just like the old days. Love it. Okay. All of you in this nice group. Here we go. Okay. Start the battle. Where are they? Ah, they're all the way over there. And it's very hard to see on the map, by the way. Look, you can see, you know, if you're if you're in any way sort of colourblind or can't see colours very well, I mean, I've got good eyesight and I can barely see that the Soleuses are over there on the map. So, like, if you don't have good eyesight, then that's gonna be your real You could spend the whole battle trying to work out who they are. Also, 
there's some levitating pikemen. If they've got flying pikemen, then we, we, we've lost. <laughs> Now, they've been clever. They've got a bit of a high ground advantage, which means the Cretans won't be as effective. But to be honest, we've got such a superior army, it shouldn't be a problem. Right, can the Cretans reach from here? Don't think they quite can, and that's because they're uphill. If they were on the same level as us, the Cretans would easily be able to hit. But the uphill advantage is doing them a big favour here. I could just try and manoeuvre myself around to get the high ground. Honestly, can't be bothered to. It's going to take too long. Especially with manoeuvring hoplites, CBA. Right, the Cretans can now fire on the front line. I would like... Ah, they can't quite reach the levy pikemen. Which is who I really want to... You're going to fire anyway. I actually want you firing on the levy pikemen. So just, just look, stop, 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 stop. Guys, just move slightly more forward. So you can just reach those levy pikemen. They're already reacting, incidentally. They can't run off because they've run out of movement points. Same as the last two battles. Cretans, focus on the levy pikemen. They're the strongest unit. Scythians who I probably should have actually gotten a sort of group of their own, but whatever. You can probably focus on the levy pikemen, all the elephants. Just sort of come around here, because the elephants are heavy cavalry, so they shouldn't be able to catch up with my Scythians. The thing is, though, I don't think you want to get their general involved. Oh, that's Greek cavalry. Have they even got a general? They haven't. But it's light cavalry. I see, I see, I see. Okay, look, just focus on the levy pikemen. So this unit, this one unit of militia hoplites has started to come down the hill. Fine, they're going to be annihilated by the Scythian mercenaries, uh, which is fine. We've got the Cretans firing in. L life is good, to be honest. The Levy pikemen, where are they? They're down to 93 already, so they're not doing too bad at all. Okay, so a lot of arrows fired later, and 11% to 0%. The beauty of having a missile attack. And they're uphill, so, you know, really, it should be a lot more, but, uh, you know... They, they did well. They're in a good defensive position. I think the Levy Pikemen have had enough. They're coming forward and they're just going to get even more annihilated by more arrows. In fact, they might even break before they reach the front line. But to be honest, it doesn't matter if they do. Sorry, don't. Because they're at this point where they're so weak, my Hoplites can just deal with them. And in fact, they're had enough. They're out of here. They've turned their backs to us, which is the worst thing they could do. And now they're just going to get absolutely annihilated. Yep. See you later, lads. And it's good. Don't want to face these guys in Tarsus. Definitely don't want to face these guys in Tarsus. So if you can deal with them now, then excellent, excellent stuff. Screw it. Let's focus on the elephants. Let's try and get the elephants berserk. Because the Militia Hoplites, they are absolutely no threat to me. They really aren't. I'm actually going to get all of you guys, minus the Scythians, in a new group. And then they, the other guys can start moving forward. Because the Cretans currently aren't doing anything. So if we just move forward up to here, the Cretans should get a better shot. And in fact, you guys can now go and fire at will. Lovely. So if we can get the elephants to go berserk or rout or whatever, then they're a non-factor, which is good to see. The Scythians come over here so you're not actually in the way of your own phalanx. The elephants don't particularly like it. I mean, they're not going down, but hopefully they just... Sometimes they just go berserk over nothing. Like, literally none of them have died and they'll just go berserk. As I said before, not actually a big fan of elephants on this game. I mean, they're cool, but like... In terms of an actual practical unit, not a big fan. Right, are the, Cre the Cretans are firing? Yeah, everyone's firing in. The Sarmatians, sorry, the Scythians are nearly run out of arrows, which is fine. We can just walk in and just deal with the rest of them. I think we got like two, no, do we get any elephants down? No, we haven't so far. We might have actually kind of wasted those arrows on the elephants, to be honest. Let's just focus on the militia hoplites, why not? Okay, what I'm going to do now is, ooh. Did not notice, actually, a few Militia Hoplites went into my my normal Hoplites. Let's get the Sarmatians around the back of them. I mean, to be honest, they're wavering. They're not a threat at all. But we'll just we'll get them. Yeah, okay, they're routed. Good. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about that, then. That's cool. Right, yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to start moving forward. And we're going to do basically what we did last battle. Literally just move right up next to them. And then that's not what I wanted to do. Move up right next to them. And then attack when we're right close to them. Should die pretty quick. And it looks like they're charging in. They've they've run out of patience, which is bad for them. Now, the elephants are my major, most concern, to be honest. So, if you guys could all focus on the elephants. Nope, they're broken. Okay, fine. Oh, good old elephants. I mean, they don't... They're good at shock cavalry. I think what it is, is the... Well, I'll talk about it in a second, to be honest. Um, this probably isn't the best time. Let's get general round the... What we've got here? We've got militia hoplites. Get a general round the back. Get the Sarmatians round the back. We'll just get as many of these guys routing as possible. We're not going to be able to catch those guys. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, It's fine. Oh, one of the units of Scythians went down. Who got the Scythians? You're meant to be on skirmish mode, lads. 
And the Militia Cavalry got them. Oh, well, we lost the unit of Scythians. That's a shame. That really does bring flashbacks to my last series where they constantly fail to skirmish. Flipping hell. Anyway, th those days are gone now, thank God. So, right, guys get around the back and then, yeah, literally just charge around here. Wave rings. So they're waving. Ooh, that unit broke. Okay, one of our units broke. You just avoid that unit of hot flights. We've, yeah, their whole army's pretty much gone. Now, the elephants have come back for some more. They're welcome to if they want to. Sarmatians, just make sure that you don't actually get killed by them. Now, General, uh, don't charge into those hoplites. Or if you're going to do, charge into the back of them. So you, into the back. We'll get the horn going so the General drops to the back. Things up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Right, they're all charging in. Sarmatians, get back. Sarmatians, get back. Sarmatians, get back. The elephants are going to kill you. The elephants are going to kill you. Get back. You back here. We haven't got a front line. Okay, guys, all on the elephants. That is a bit of an annoyance. Um, guys, skirmish back. Skirmish back. All on the elephants. The elephants are going to kill some of the Cretans at this rate. Sarmatians just charged into the elephants. But you know what? They routed them, and I think they saved the Cretan archers' life. So I'm actually kind of grateful they did that. Okay, that was a little bit of a mess at the end. Most of the elephants are down, which is good. Sarmatians are just doing what the hell they want to do. I mean, they're, they're completely out of control. Guys, skirt around these guys, and then just try and get as many hot plights down. Don't particularly want to see them in Tarsus, so just chase that unit of militia hoplites down. We've got a shaken unit over here, so basically you two focus on that unit. You guys focus on that unit, and I think that's pretty much all of them dead. What we've got over here, militia cavalry. Right, general, get the militia cavalry down. They're starting to annoy me now, but apart from that, yeah, the whole army's collapsed. That's pretty much the end. The elephants have gone berserk, and that's pretty much game over. Good to see, good to see. And there we go, victory, I'm just chasing down the final few units, but that was pretty simple, those guys get away, honestly, not the biggest deal ever, it's cool. And then we go, clear victory, 518 to 289, took a few more losses than I would have liked, but to be honest, it wasn't too bad, it was just the odd unit of like, there was like one unit of hoplites, one unit of Scythians, and a couple of other geezers, but it was alright, I think a lot of the losses were recoverable, and that's fine by me, we are moving towards Tarsus the Seleucids. Ah, oh, they do have a big army around here. This is... Where's the army of... This isn't the big army that's going to deal with Tarsus, is it? That's the army from Mazakar. Where's the army of Ippolkus of... Is it Ippolkus of Diem? I've completely lost track, you know. Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's Hippias of Thebes, yeah. He's still over there. He's taking his time. Now, I probably should have looked at retinue. I'll have a look at it now. So how is... Yeah, how is Amen... Aminikos of Philippi? I think we'll just call him Philip, to be honest, because I can't say that name. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Solid six stars of command. He's a poor farmer, but I can I can live with that. And he's got a runner as well. Now, yeah, this is an army which is slightly concerning. It's not very good, but it's a lot of people. We need to merge up some of these hoplites. Because they're a little bit battered. So just merge up some of them. But yeah, I mean... Probably that army is not good enough on its own to to deal with Demetrius and his, his men. In fact, it almost certainly isn't. What we could do, we'll just stand here, because we haven't got a lot of choice. We'll stand here, and then if they attack us, we'll just get in a nice defensive formation. Bear in mind, Hippias of Thebes is going to clean up after any losses very, very soon, with his absolutely massive, massive army. Nah, we'll be alright. Okay, so I'm actually going to end the episode here, because I think it's been quite long. I think we've done, like, what, four battles now? Yeah, it's been quite a few. But next time, we are moving towards... The Brutii at Croton, we're going to get lots of reinforcements over there. We're going to probably move towards Tarsus, definitely take Sardis. Well, I hope to take Sardis off the Celestis. If we don't, that's a bit of an issue. How's the situation with Thrace going? A bit sort of odd. I mean, Damianus of Thessaly, he's doing his best, poor lad. And then, yeah, and then possibly moving towards the Numidians once we've dealt with the final Carthaginians in Carthage. So, quite a lot is going on next time, and... Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you around.